Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ's Cake class. In this video, we are going to talk about how to build this coffee cup and print it in the shapeways.com in any of your desired material. Before we start in building the model, we need to understand what is the material requirement for printing. Let's go to the Shapeways website. This is Shapeways website. In their website, it shows many different material you can print. In this coffee cup, we would like to print in porcelain. So let's take a look on it. In this porcelain material information, they give you different kind of finish and different kind of a color choice. And we'll tell you the price after you upload. But we like to pay attention to a few things here. It's a maximum and minimum bounding box. We need to know how what is the biggest size we can build and what is the smallest size. We also want to pay attention on the minimum wall thickness. We cannot build anything thinner than that, then you will have an error on the printing. There's a lot more detail on the bottom. You can take a look before you actually building your model so you have a better understanding what is outcome is going to be. Let's get started. To build this espresso coffee cup, we'll use following command to build this model. We'll use the curve tool to build the basic shape, and then we'll use the sweep to rail to build a surface. Of course, we need to fillet the edges to make everywhere rounded and for more comfortable and aesthetic pleasing. And then we will offset the surface to create a solid and we will blend the curve on the top to make it more rounded. Let's start with top view. We'll use the polygon tool starting with the center of zero axis. And I want to build somewhere for the bottom, a number of a size equal six, somewhere a little bit smaller than two inch in diameter. I'm going to build another one. It's somewhere slightly bigger than two inch right here. In the perspective, you're going to see both of them are flat to the C plane. So I'm going to turn on my gumball and move this up about two inch that's showing how tall the cup is going to be. I'm then going to use the curve tool and going to go back to the front view, gonna snapping into the endpoint and building a curve for my cup. You can turn on a control point to edit if you don't like the profile of the cup. Now we have that done, we want to mirror this curve to the other side. So let's take a look on the perspective. This is the curve we have to build this cup. Before I actually sweep to, I want to make sure all the corner is rounded. To do that, We'll go to the curve tool and then you have fillet the <coughs> corners. We want to pick up the curve we want to fillet, hit enter, and input the number which is the radius you want to fillet. Here I want them to be quarter inch, so I type it 0.25. Now we have the curve, let's go ahead and sweep it. The sweep leaving under the surface, sweep two rails. You pick up rail one, rail two, and you want to sweep from this curve to the bottom curve. If we go ahead, just click enter, you're going to get a straight down cut. Our goal is get the surface twist a little bit like that. 
So we need to do a little things before we click enter on that strip to rail. Let me do it one more time. When we try to sweep, go to the surface, sweep two rails, you select first rail, second rail, the top curve to the bottom curve. Now notice that this arrow over there, I want this arrow line up to the middle. That means when we do that, it's going to be straight down. But since I want it to twist, I want this bottom arrow move to the other edges in the midpoint. So it's going to be like this. Let's click OK. Now we can see it twist a little bit. Once we have this surface, we try to cap the one on the bottom. So let's go ahead to use the surface from planar curve. Let's select everything on the bottom, which is the curve on the bottom, and creating a surface. And let's join it. Now we have the interior, we need to create an exterior. So let's go ahead and use the surface tool. Under the surface, you have offset the surface. We click on the surface. You see all the arrow that's showing you want to offset inside or outside of the surface right here. If you want to offset to inside, you just need to flip all of them inside. Since we were intended to build it uh, exterior, we want to offset to outside. Solid equal no, because we want a lip to be nice and rounded. If you have solid equal yes, this is what you're going to get. It's really flat surface. That's not what we want. So let's do one more time. And solid equal no. This time I'm setting to a quarter inch. It's slightly bigger than three millimeter for thickness for our printing requirement. Now this is what we get for the exterior. Remember inside now we want it to be nice and round on the bottom as well. So I'm going to turn off the exterior and do fillet edges on the bottom. Here I want to put 0 to for the radius. So we have a really nice and round bottom. Let's turn on the exterior and get ready for the lips. To make the rim nice and rounded, we need to use a sweep tool. So let's go ahead and duplicate it, the edges for the top. So now we have two curves here. Let me join them while it is selected. Okay. Next we are going to use the blend tool to blend the curve from this edges to this poly surface edges. You can adjust the rim if you want to. Now this is the rim what we get. Next, let's use sweep two rails. We choose the rail one and rail two and cross section with this curve that we have. Notice that getting up and down to make it the same high, check on maintain high and that's preview. Let's go ahead and join all of them together. Now you become a solid. In our property properties here say close poly surface. So it is a single shell watertight solid. Next step, we'll make a handle for it. We're going to the front view and we are going to create a curve. To represent the handle. Now let's get to the right view. Using the rectangular curve, we can creating a profile of the handle. 
Let's go to fillet the corner and make the radius is 0 0.1 0 .1. to have everywhere rounded like all the corners rounded and I'm going to copy this guy to the bottom let's take on the um, front view okay it look nice but on the perspective you notice that a little bit stick it out on one of this on the surface so we'll just be safe want to move this guy just in a little bit to make sure it's inside of the cup now let's go ahead then sweep one rail from rail one to cross section from the top to the bottom make sure the arrows align so we have this handle make sure that it is a solid before we use a bowling tool so let's use the command code cap and cap this guy now it's a solid turn on our cup it's ready to bowling unit now we have a cup now double check on them click on this surface and say it's close poly surface now it's ready for the shape waves we need to turn it in into a STL file so we go to file export select and then we want to do copy cup and you can choose the STL file hit save it come up the window like this click OK and then you will have a window like this and click OK now the file is ready for the shape waves let's go to the shape waves here is the shape waves website let's go to upload our file and since we are in inch for our template so we want to select inch and select the file that you export for STL let's open it and upload it once you have uploaded then you will see this page and your model will show on the right side you are able to rotate your model to see if that have any part is missing and if you move your mouse down you will see all the material that is able to print and then it will check if it is any error on it it takes a little bit time on the loading now let's go to our material we're going to print porcelain and then we'll see how is the loading coming up now it has done all the checking we have passed all the auto, auto check for porcelain I say we want to really like this glossy blue color and we can double check on the 3d tool and again it will show you the preview of the cup and will show you it has all the thickness and everything it also tell you what is the price for it if this is too expensive you can kind of come back to the model make it thinner but just make sure that you have minimum three millimeter then if you really like it you can add to the card and get it print thank you for watching this tutorial i hope you enjoyed and see you around soon in my other video